In this video, we're going to look at the basics of differentiating logs. So our basic rule, again taken from page 25 of the log tables, where y is equal to the natural log of x, the derivative dy dx is simply 1 over x. Now where we have to look at um, introducing the product quotient chain rule, for example, that's what I want to concentrate on this video. So if we have something like y is equal to the natural log of 3x minus 5, what we have here, natural log of 3x minus 5, we are going to be differentiating the natural log. So if you want, you can say, well, y is equal to natural log u, where u is equal to 3x minus 5. We know that dy du is simply 1 over u, du dx is 3, and therefore dy dx multiply the 2 is 3, times by 1 over u, which is 3 over natural, natu uh, sorry, 3 over 3x minus 5. So you differentiate the log function, that's going to be your 1 over 3x minus 5, and you are simply multiplying by the derivative of the bracket. So in a basic example like this, you would need to, you can either use that shortcut, 1 over the, 1 over the bracket times by the derivative of the bracket, or you can use your chain rule as I have here. In a more complicated scenario, so let's see uh, if we look at y is equal to a natural log of 2x minus 1 to the power of 7, for example. Here we would have to use the chain rule because we, we in a sense, have to differentiate twice. So dy, uh, sorry, we'll start off with y is equal to natural log of u, where u is equal to 2x minus 1 to the power of 7. In this case, we use our chain rule on the bracket here. So that's 7 times by 2x minus 1 to the power of 6, multiplied by the derivative of the bracket, which is 2. And that gives us 14 times by 2x minus 1 to the power of 6. So that's d, uh, du dx. dy du, again, comes from our basic rules. That's 1 over u. And again, we multiply them. So dy dx is 1 over u times by 14. So 1 over u times by 14 by 2x minus 1 to the power of 6. u is replaced with 2x minus 1 to the power of 7. Now in this case, we have to simplify. So where we have 2x minus 1 to the power of 6 over 2x minus 1 to the power of 7, that simply gives us 14 over 2x minus 1. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, again, you can uh, you have to look at examples where the log rules come into contact with the product rule, quotient rule, chain rule, um, and maybe I might look at exa one example of that actually before I finish this video. I'll look at one example where we have to use something like the product rule. So if we have a function y is equal to x times by the natural log of x. We can't simplify this, so we have to use the product rule. So we say y is equal to u multiplied by v, where u is x, v is the natural log of x. So remember, we differentiate separately. du dx is equal to 1. dv dx is 1 over x. When we're looking at dy dx, the product rule formula is u times by dv dx plus v times by du dx. And so that will give us x times by 1 over x plus natural log of x times by 1. This here, x times by 1 over x gives us 1 plus 1 times by natural log of x is simply natural log of x. So our dy dx is 1 plus natural log x.